what's the secret to long marriage? I think one of them. Communication. Um, yeah, people always say communication. That is from the people. Yes, and I agree communication is a great tool to stay uh, married for long. But for me, uh, one of the greatest is not to separate your income <laughs> and not to separate your expenses. I think being open about your income, your source of income, your money is one of the greatest way to stay together. Spend it together, budget it together, bring it in together, or if one person is bringing the income, be open about it, okay? What's the secret? All right, it says financial openness, also known as financial transparency, refers to the practice of openly sharing and discussing financial information, including income, expenses, debt, assets, and financial goals within a relationship or marriage. It involves being honest and forthcoming about your financial situations with your partner and engaging in open conversations about money matters. Now, while financial transparency can be an important aspect of maintaining a healthy and successful marriage, it's just one of many factors that contribute to a strong partnership. <laughs> so tonight we're asking, is financial transparency a great strategy for a long-lasting marriage? Do you agree with Bambika's summation? Please, men, let us hear what you have to say. <laughs> I know that women, women are not transparent at all. <laughs> Let me, let me just let me don't worry. I help you. I will help you tell us. The, I will tell us. We tell us the truth. We may are not transparent, but man, let me hear what you have to say. Remember, I'm just joking. Everybody, I mean, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to zero eight one eight zero three four six six three. You can also tweet at us at Wayshow. I've come on with the hashtag Wayshow. All right. So, <clears throat> who do I start with? Let me start with uh, Madam Onyekuzi, our teacher. <laughs> 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 ah, because you have been better than in this marriage matter. Um, so, like, literally, right, um, do you agree with Van Vika's summation about transparency when it comes to finances? And if you do, why? If you don't, why? Hmm. Well, it's as simple as ABC. It, it depends, actually, to be candid. I don't know. It depends. It depends on the people who are involved. Because we've seen situations whereby a man and a woman decide to have a joint account and the man cuts the money away or the woman does the same. So it depends on those, the two people who are involved in that relationship. I would say Yes, to a large extent, Van Vika is correct that one should be open in that relationship about their finances. But again, there is always a clause. It's not a one. It's not a straight. Um, it's not straight. You, you can It's not. There is always a gray area when you're talking about things like this because nothing is totally cast in stone. If you meet someone who is nice, who is honest, and who really cares for you and is willing to um, be open about his or her finances, that is good. But again, you know, we women, we have this clause that we say, um, my money is my money, his money is our money. So again, we have that problem that we feel that, okay, the man is supposed to be the one in charge of the home and we do not have to be upfront about our funds. So it still depends. I have another story about an individual who had a joint account with the, her husband and what the man did was that he carted away all the money and traveled abroad. This is somebody who was being open in a relationship. And there is another story of an individual who is quite open about his finances. The woman can have the woman has access to his account. She can withdraw more money from his account, 
as much as she wants. Probably it depends on if it's a blank check. I wouldn't know, but he, she has access to his account without any hitches. She hasn't gone away with his money. So it depends on the individuals who are involved in this relationship. Are they committed? Are they loving? Do okay, so let us know. Let us take it personal. You see, are you transparent with your funds? Look, we know they speak individual, individual. <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves. <laughs> no, no, you will not yes. put me on the spot. I have you know, to put you on the spot, spot because we're having a very practical um, um, conversation. Mar uh, marriage yes. is not something that is like over the top of our heads, right? Are you open to your your spouse about finances, like your income that you make and all of that? Osaiwame, I'm an open book. Okay. Yes. But again, I still believe in his money is our money. There are two different things. Okay. <laughs> I mean, leave it there. When I go and call family meeting, and they will call my name inside the matter. I'm not there. <laughs> Well, let me no, it's the truth. His man is our money. Okay. I still believe in that because he's the man. It's mm. as simple as that. Absolutely. Okay, let me come to you, Diola. What do you, do you, what do you think? Do you think this strategy will truly give a long-lasting um, relationship or marriage? Okay, so for me, I think that um, before you get to that point, you need to, first of all, say that um, people rarely have serious conversations and money is something people don't really talk about yes we spend money but do we really talk about money so if we don't talk about money everybody has their own different belief system around money mm. if i come from a background where my dad handles everything i mean we want to eat we want to go to school he pays all the bills my mom i mean you understand I, I become an adult thinking that that is the right thing to do, except I unlearn those belief systems. So sometimes when you hear people say, oh, I can't be transparent about my funds, it's not necessarily because they do not want to be transparent. It is because they have not been taught that transparency is key to and then again, I mean, when people are talking about partnership or marriage and all that, they need to sit down and actually talk about money. What are your money goals? What is your money belief system? I come from a place where I think it is not frivolous to go abroad once a year. Mm. Holiday is important to me. It's a must. But imagine having a partner who does not believe in holidays. Mm. Now you are forced to start lying about how you got money to buy your ticket. Because he doesn't believe in it. What would you do? Does it make him a bad person? He doesn't. You so, are just two opposites. Exactly. So you need to. So you must first of all align. You must align. You, you know must your vision that. must must align. You, even if you don't align, mm. you must be willing to be open, be honest about it. What your deal breakers are in terms of finances. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. And then when you address that, you now come to a point where you say, okay, I can compromise on this. I can't compromise. And then you move forward. But people just think, I mean, marriage, love is enough. Money, love is just sort out. It doesn't. Mm. Money is, it, I mean, studies have shown that money is a real thing that causes marriage breakup. Mm. I mean, it, it's a real issue. Money, mm. money is like, um, how do I say? So when you ask people, ah, what happened? You ask her now, ask him now. Do you understand? They can't really... Because it is almost embarrassing mm. to say that you are at loggerheads with your spouse because of money. Mm. Mm. Mary, Mary of life. Mm. <laughs> you <laughs> know, I'm, I'm, I'm also learning because um, I can't say that I've been transparent. Mm. I've not been put in the situation. I don't even think I've had um, a relationship that calls for such. Mm. And... Um, haven't always been with older people and even in my I think it took course in my parents relationship my dad's like 10 years older than my mom mm. so I've always had that the dad is the head the, you know the father figure he provides for everything and it was towards the hard times I saw my mom you know come out and pull some things and you know that's where she can say oh eh I, I bought this, I, there's this land I bought 
is my sister that bought this land for mm -hmm. me, you know, and that's the only thing I have. So, um, but going forward, I will want to be transparent, you know, mm -hmm. um, because I think it's important to have shared goals and it's important to grow together as yeah. well. And I would like to be able to accommodate each other's excesses. So I can't say that I would also be 100% transparent because I think I'm an individual and I would like to, in our own Nigerian world, hold your own. Mm. Um, so, yes, I believe I will still have some very much hitting funds. If someone dashes me money, I cannot go and declare it and say, <laughs> Hello, my uncle. Mm. My dad gave me this in support of uh, mm, something, 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 you know. So I'm um, partial transparency, you know, but um, trust and communication is very important. So, mm. so I, I'm on the, mm -hmm. I'm on the fence. I, <laughs> I have like so many incidences to share. About I can imagine transparency and money, but let me pick one. And um, you know, many years ago. I was on a breakfast show and, you know, we were a team of women. I've never been someone that is closed when it comes to information dissemination. I always, I am always very eager to share information and just, you know, put things out there, talk about things, even my successes and my stories and all of that. And so even with relationships, it was easy if you were around me, yeah. you could know everything no, that was yeah. happening inside of me. But um, I remember a, 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 a state governor had come on our show then. And, you know, of course, he did. Oh, thank we came on a Friday. So he said, oh, ladies, I've done thank God this Friday for, your, for you all and all of that. And, you know, I said, oh, thank you so much, you know, that they had given it to our boss. And that money, after doing thank God this Friday... Somebody down, so we, were, we had walked him to his car, the entourage, they were already leaving. Then somebody down runs back and taps me on the back and says, the governor says, I should give this to you. In my naivety and my stupidity, I'll call it now, in hindsight, <laughs> and with this mindset of trying to be very open, open. and all of that, oh, no. I just took all the money and with excitement, I said, oh, they gave us extra money. Hey. Then later again, I now thought to myself, and I said, wait, this money, they did not say give to us. I began because mm -hmm. he had said it in the Aww. open that they had given all of us. Mm. So and I said, ah, wait, wait, let it not be that. This money was meant for me and I'm trying to like, you know, ah, that was the beginning of my problem. Mm. So you see, transparency, I believe, and it now became a thing of, oh, if the show was going to break or if the show was going to be whatever over, it was because, you know, maybe I was now being, they now, they, they almost like painted me Quite like dangerous. I was being greedy and all of that. So mm. at some point I said, you know what, and for me to, for you to come and call me a name that I know, people should take the money and share it amongst yourself. I'm not interested. And I say, no, 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 no. If I do that, it means that, you know, they called me on top of the matter. If I do that, it means that, you know, I was not, um, I was not about team and all of that. Mm. Long and short story is that that was the beginning of a lot of challenges that I began to, you know, experience because, you know, of transparency. So I realized something in hindsight. When you want to be transparent, the most important factor for transparency is the other party. And it's but even to marriage itself or relationship. This is friendship now I talked about, or mm. maybe groups. Yeah. If the person is not mature enough yeah. mm. to handle your success, because mm. we yeah. all cannot be successful at different at, at the at same, the same yeah. very yeah. true. Level. Do you understand? Yeah. Very, very true. If the person cannot handle the fact that they gave Mary ten thousand dollars. Ha! Yeah. Because that was the impression. What yeah. you think, who do you think you are? Mm. Yeah. Do you think you're special than any, anybody mm. else? In Yoruba land, when they say they give us something, it means ah. all of us. They started interpreting a lot of things for me. Like, literally, I was dumbfounded because that was like, I'd never seen that kind of a thing before. It was a, a, a rude shock to me. Mm. But I kept quiet and I looked at it. I said, you know what? I think it was not them that was the problem. It was me. Mm. So before you say you want to hurry up, I want to go and tell my husband mm -hmm. that I made 10 million naira. Uncle, auntie, sure. be sure that your husband can handle 10 million. Because that's when the other one will tell you that, ah, there's one um, bill that they want to pay. There's one this they want to But you see, like you rightly said from when you started the conversation, if you set goals, mm -hmm. and both of you can align that yeah. this is where our financial goals will be. When we are submitting issues of like maybe monthly yeah. 
pool. We're, there's a pool there. Mm. You know, we're we're depositing from our income. We know that okay, this is our towards our travel. This yeah. is towards our this. Yes. This is it's, set it's goal. Easier that but way. if you are dealing with somebody that's immature, mm. that at every little time the person goes into that account to pull that money, you can't run a joint account with that person. You can't do anything with that person. You have to be very honest with yourself. You know, there are some times that you want to be seen to be good. Don't be part of those people. Deal with your partner within the individuality. Of the if you know say your wife likes to shop like me, don't give me joint account. Too. Jonathan, if she loves to shop, it is possible that if you annoy her small. I remember that when I was, so yes, earlier, earlier when my, my sister, you didn't know, that's the word. Earlier when I was younger, you know, when my children were younger, like if you upset me like this, it's retail therapy. I'll just carry money. I'll just go shopping. Mm. When I finish shopping, I'll feel good with myself. But you know, when, of course, maturity then set mm. in and, you know, what I'm saying to you that you can't just open your mouth and be giving advice, Van Vika, to everybody. It's not everybody that needs to be transparent. Do you understand? Mm. It's not one size fit or some yeah. people cannot handle, you know. So that's why you see some mothers in those days, they will be building houses they will not tell the husband. Yeah. They will be doing so many things they will not tell your husband because they know that if they tell that husband, the lifestyle of the husband and the, yes, you know, exactly. the state of the husband the state, will right? even allow Absolutely. him to do certain things. Absolutely. Yeah. So for me, after that experience in my lifetime, mm -hmm. I then learned, Uwa, shut your mouth. Yeah. Because it's not everybody that has the capacity to handle your progress or your growth. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. I am someone that no matter how blessed you are around me, I can never look at you and feel like, why not me? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Because I understand that principle that when it's my time, it it's cannot be exactly. stopped. Okay. But some other people don't. So I'm saying this to address the transparency even amongst relationships, friendship relationships, beyond even the marriage. Because you need to be very careful that that person can handle it. So on that note, we'll take a break, right? I'd really love to hear from our men and our women. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, thanks for staying with us now. If you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out, and we're discussing the topic, financial transparency. Is it... Is this a um, great strategy to a long-lasting, I'll call it relationship and marriage? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 Or more. it is now X us. It's not a uh, tweet. X us, because I don't know if we'll call them again. X us and thread us at Wisho Africa. Wow. All right, so our phone line is, <laughs> is now open. The, is the number, I'm telling you, the number to call is 0702500774. Now, remember the rules. Turn down the volume of whatever, or just turn it off the volume of whatever it is that you're watching us from so we don't get a feedback. The number again is 0702500749. The question is, are you transparent? Don't give us too much long story. Are you transparent and has it worked for you? Are you transparent with your partner and has it worked for you? Um, my mom and my dad, they, they have a very beautiful relationship. Mm -hmm. When it comes to money and transparency, they're like, you know, yin and yang. Oh. You know, mom, my, my mom is almost like the, she go, the monitor, the money with touch lights, you know. But again, when you have to raise 10 children, I've been mean, at nine, we be now. I can't, I can't remember how many we, how many are we? I think we're nine. Yeah, I need to count so people see. Yeah, we are nine. We are nine. We are nine. Sorry. So having to raise it, yeah. I mean, when you are faced with raising nine children, mm. and you know, a lot of things, we had some financial struggles, you know, earlier on. It was it, it was a combination of serious work, mm. pulling funds from here and there to be able to make sure that school. My mother has to owe school fees. She, as in my parents, both of them, they cannot owe school fees, so they would rather starve. But the money, but you see, you, we, I saw them work as a tact team. So when you have that kind of love relationship that everybody understands that, come, this is for the, this is the goal. Yeah. You can be transparent with yeah. that person. Yeah. But when you have a person that, I'm thinking of school fees, you're thinking of one mm -hmm. bar, you want to go and drink, or one girl, you want to go and carry with that's my heart that's and money. That's, that's, that's even when there's lark. Yeah. What, if, what if there's, what if in the case where, you know, there's excess, you know, because I was speaking with a client today and when I saw the topic and he came up and I, you know, put a question to him. So what he told me was, I mean, in the beginning, they were pretty much very transparent. But they both grew 
to a grew they both grew to a stage where there's more than enough sort mm. of so you they are not necessarily monitoring to see did you take this one out the lady the wife is doing pretty well for, for herself, herself yeah. they have a business together like mm -hmm. a group business she has her own section of the business that i can see that is growing as well as long as his own thing is growing so mm. i think it's this they're in synergy in the sense that they're both doing well they've had two kids you know he has set up trust funds for two kids already so they, you know they're putting money there so you, that is yes, 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 that, yes. that nitty-gritty of um, mm. what do you just want to do what do you, so it's, you know some, sometimes he would tell me the other i asked my wife i said where is she um, all the money at the end where is it going that she would just smile and look at him because obviously she's probably not using her money for anything get, yeah and you know and he's able to foot it but truth be told i'm sure if something comes up My she's dear, ready to a lot of women that to used to bring hide out. money in those days where it was because probably again polygamy yeah you know especially yeah. when men had multiple wives they were they needed to protect the interests of their own children, children. Yeah. Do you understand yeah a woman will not just wake up and say she wants to hide money no mm -hmm. Uh, it, it depends on what I'm dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> even even my, my mom was sorry to say. Mm. Um, even my mom, in, she would tell me in her first marriage, she would say, well, I, I didn't have to do anything because he provided for the kids. He, like, she didn't have that mentality. So for her now that she's older, she's been through a second marriage, she's seen, you know, financial time, she's like, ah, all these women, they were doing it then, or but, you know, she was naive to say because she didn't need yeah, to do that. Yeah, she didn't that. need to do it. Ah. So let, okay, let, so let me hear your thoughts. I'll come back to you. you growing see. up, my parents, I mean, they're also very financially transparent with each other. But there was a kick. My dad, you see, is quite generous with money. Mm. If you can have a need and you come to my dad, my dad would he would sort, sort you out. Yeah. That that's my dad, you know. But but how do you now, as a woman, you, you understand? You know that this is who your husband is. I mean, it's not like he's he's just throwing it to some woman. Or, That's what my papa view. Do you understand? So in that situation, you are forced as a woman mm. to start learning how to hide money. Mm. So my mom would. I mean, when you no, let's not call it hide. Set it aside. Set it aside. Set it aside. But I mean, in the context of transparency, mm. I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, again, you need to understand the person you're dealing with. So. When we say transparency, sometimes the flip side of it, it's not necessarily because of something bad. Mm. It's just so that you are even helping the person protect their interests. Yes. Exactly. And that, mm. that was what my mom. So my dad grew to know that and he would say, So when people ask him for money, you say, Go and meet mom. Mm. Go and meet my manager. It's my mm. manager that will determine if we have money or not. Mm. Okay. So when he has money, the first thing he does, he just sends it to my mom. He transfers mm -hmm. to my mom. And he would just say, well, give me X amount of money. Let me just hold that. You understand? And that was how, because literally, I can tell you there was a term, we were almost out of school because of my father's generosity. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yes. My father was paying school for yes. so many people. Ah. <laughs> I, think, I think people were more generous in those times. Oh, yes. Because it was <laughs> always yes. a, a duty. You would take on your sisters, your brothers, Siblings. children, your sisters. Yes. My mom also spent a bulk of her money with her school, her brother. A bulk of her money taking care of her siblings. My father, his siblings' children, and his siblings. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was in those days, it's now that we are a lot more nuclear in our approach yeah, to family. True, true, it, so true. a lot of parents then, a lot of mothers then had to, they didn't have a choice, right? Because it's either we do this now to protect the interests of my own children, oh. or at the end of the day, we would suffer, and, you know? So it was a good thing, right? Yeah. I wouldn't say that being helping other people is a bad of thing. Course. But at the same time, at some point, you overdo it, yeah. you know? Because you, you are not even thinking about your children, you know? I mean, I mean, even within my own, you know, immediate family, it was a thing of family, family, family. I said, uncle, you have children too. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But let me come to you, EC. Um, value is a crucial role. It plays a crucial role in all of this. And it's the value of both partners. If, if the individuals that are involved in the marriage, and they have the value, the same value, and they have the same goal, they are able to actually work in sync. Okay? But 
when they do not have the same goals or they do not believe in the same things, that is when things like what Diola talked about and Mary talked about happens, where a woman now puts some money aside. Again, there is one other problem that also happens where women work kind of learn from past experiences in terms of maybe somebody they knew depended on the husband for everything and they had the same account and somewhere along the line he decided to build everything to someone else again that's a, a case of betrayal of trust when the person now passes on and who now takes over the funds or the the, the property if is the family of the man so women of today have learned from these experiences and they would say okay i wouldn't want to be like abc one two three kind of person i would rather want to be um dependent or sorry um, independent i would rather have my money yes you would know what i have but we would not run a joint account. We would not be that transparent to the extent that everything uh, I have or own will, will be with him or is in his control. So again, it is, so, it is quite important that the individuals that are participating in that marriage, that are involved in that relationship, have the same goals and they have the same values. Mm. Mm. Thank you. I agree. Mm. I so, what should be a good alternative? Um, hmm. What should be a good alternative to <laughs> have a conversation? Well, yeah, have a, a conversation. Good, a good alternative. Have a conversation. I mean, there is nothing too trivial. If we sit down to talk, we can say, okay, you know what? This is how much I earn. If you have that kind of a partner, you know. Okay, so we're looking at uh, being together, we're raising a family together. Okay, I am willing to put 50% of my income in XYZ together with yours. My other 50 is is mine. I want to be able to, to have the funds to enjoy the things that I want to enjoy because at the end of the day, I'm also an individual. Now, the problem is when you get to, when you put your funds thereabouts in a pool like that, People tend to feel like I'm being pressured to spend my money in a certain way. Mm. Now, that's a real pressure, you mm. know. But you want to... Because want for to, every time you, yeah. you try to withdraw, there's exactly. a question that you comes, what is exactly. this for? You have to what, explain. What are you using, it for? Are you using mm. it for? No. I am my own person. I have my interests, my passions. I don't want to come to you for permission or to have to explain myself. It's the same way. Okay, I'll give you an example. I dated a guy once and... Um, He's an avid football person. So he has to travel to go watch live match, you know, like that. And we we're doing a project together. And he said to me, from day one, I, I, I can't compromise on this. I, I can't. Even if we're broke, I can't. <laughs> this is the one thing that makes me happy. Hmm. So imagine that you end up being with that kind of a person. And then he still goes on doing that. And then you get angry over that. It doesn't make sense. He tell you. Exactly. Mm. And that's the problem now. People just feel, oh, you, 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 you are you, yeah, you, you, you know, you evolved and then I, I don't know you anymore and all that. But there are realities. Let's talk about, okay, which school do we want our children to go to? Mm. Which hospital do we want to use? Which HMO? It's in simple, simple. Do we want to be dining out? Do we want to be doing La Vida La Loca? Do we want to be Lagos Big Boy? Diola, Diola, Diola. You know that story of the story when you talk go market, not be the story when you they talk come back from market. That's <laughs> what you're spending now. When you go in, you say, Oh, I'm going to do all of this. These are the things that we have mapped out. Mm. It, at, at some point, you just phase out, just like what Mary says about the, the, uh, the, the, the client she had who was talking to her about how they were at first and somehow along the line, they, fit, they fizzled out, they started having their own monies and controlling their own funds. So I think for me, I, was, I would be of the um, perspective that foundation 
Mm. Foundation is crucial. Mm. How crucial is it to your family? If okay. you are picking on someone, That's what that. are his values? What are your values? Mm. Are they the same? Are you going the same way? Are you looking at the same things? Let's take How a call. Sorry, okay. AC, let's take a call. I believe Loma from Abia States. <laughs> Loma, are you transparent? Yeah. Good evening, my dear sister. Hi, good evening. So, long we can do it all. Thank you. You are quite sure. Let me not tell you people. Financial transparency cannot give love lasting marriage. Okay. Unless you build that marriage on finances. Let me just tell us, and any marriage that is built on finance will not stand the test of time. Marriage is all about that which, who you are and what you are, what you can do you. You can get the whole money on earth, either the man or the woman. You give the man money or you give the woman money. Maybe sure, give the person everything you have. But if there is no real love at the end of the day, it will be an effort in fertility. Mm. So the only thing, money is good, but the real love does not count. If there is money or rumor. So whoever that built his or her marriage based on money or finance or the wealth or financial or being transparent and say, ah, because I want you to know my in and out. When there is no law, it cannot stand. Okay. Because that transparency you are showing that person, you are not doing it. For that person to know your in and out, that the real love is not there. Mm. It cannot make a marriage to last. last. Okay. So I am crowning in that. Let there be financial transparency and let there be real love. The marriage will last. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank so he's trying to add love to the yeah. matter. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, I have a comment. Good evening, ladies. I'm transparent to my spouse. To my spouse. However, with discipline, I introduce a blueprint of family income and expenditure. Okay. The financial balance after expenditures will reflect more on future plans without distractions. Regards, Ade. Ade, thank you. So, I mean, let's, let's bring this home. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I have too many things to say, but you see, this kind of thing is, is trap. Yeah, I will not fall. There's, <laughs> there's no, there's no solution. There's no mm. one size. There's no one yeah, size. No one but you see, um, when in a situation where a woman is the one, like almost the breadwinner of the family, mm. um, society demands that she is transparent with her income. Yeah. Uh, just for the singular fact that you know, to give some level that. of, um, to give some level of. Um, What's the word to to rub off on the man's ego to say so you see women and i've seen this happen a lot after earning an income she then carries the money and she go and need them and give it to the husband and say okay this is my my earning and to me i believe that you know that one you know let me not go as catalog god has joined together but if you do that it, um, there's a deeper problem than just that money mm. you need to first of all work on the confidence, the esteem of your partner. You understand? Because the way I have come to understand this life, see what she said. You were in a place where you saw the man taking care of everybody. Mm. All of a sudden, something happens. You see the woman picks up that energy. Mm. At some point, I believe that there is an appointed energy that is needed to drive anything. So if, for instance, the energy of the man has, you know, depreciated and it's now the wife that is taking on that energy to be able to... As a man, you must be confident enough to say, you know what, I'm giving you 100% support. Mm. You know, but I think, again, the African mindset, the African culture yeah. is part of what is... Yeah, you know, culture, what, yeah. what is also yeah. What is also breaking down this um, thing to now become a subject of conversation. Sure. But let me take Isi's comment and I'll come back to you, Jola. Okay. Isi, you have a comment. 
Hello, you see? Okay. Yes, please. Quickly, yes, get through um, your comment. My comment is from Dr. Os Oseme. Oseme, pardon me. Dr. Oseme said, family vision and couple chemistry, value, perception, and emotion, self-interest are the antidote for long-lasting uh, marriage. Override financial transparency. Mm. So I do think he has a total different perspective from what we are saying. Mm. How about you? So um, this one is good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying, hashtag raise. Financial transparency, is it a great strategy for a long-lasting marriage? My dear beautiful sister, Jella, made mention of a challenge in financial transparency, which is both parties at loggerheads with each other. It happens in relationships. My, my sister, E.C., said that transparency is important and it is based on trust. A wife who is used to spending so much cannot have a joint account. There should be discipline when having a joint account to reduce unnecessary spending. There should be reasonable spending. That is very necessary. Financial transparency should be done by choice. It may not be compulsory. My dear beautiful sister, EC, I must commend you. I, lo I love the way you speak. You speak like an Thank American you. or British. Sister Ua, <laughs> welcome back. I missed you. My name is Daniel. Elo Ways regular fan. Thank you, Daniel. And I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> you just to tell you. Yeah, I'm enjoying my breaks. But thank you so much. I think we, we can wrap up the conversation here. Um, if I had one thing to say, I don't know, what would that be if I had one thing to say? Have conversations. Yeah. Okay. Communicate. Communicate. Communicate, right? Communicate. Honest communicate. communication. Mm. Communicate. Uh, if I had one thing to say, yeah. I would say, I would say foundation. Stick what? to what your goals are from day one. Be able to express it and have the same values. So let me ask one question. If yes. you married to a gambler, <laughs> where we say anything we see, you will use your destiny to gamble. <laughs> In the first place, that is why I stated something. Foundation. Yeah. I will not be married to a gambler in the first place. Okay. Because I will look at it first before I go in. Okay. <laughs> so the reason I asked, I posed that question is, going back to the point I had made, you have to be sure of the party you are in relationship with. The people evolve. People Absolutely. change. change. Eh? People, people change. change. So I can not be a gambler and overnight yes. become a gambler. People yeah. Change. And become a chronic gambler. From influences. Yeah. Jesus is Lord. You receive more money, you have yeah. more access exactly. to more funds, and then your changes. lifestyle changes. Yes. So you're not able to maintain the lifestyle. If you don't have it in you in the first place, you will not become it. Hmm. What if you had it in you and I it was just... You were so much that was stopping it. So much that was stopping it. What if you have values, but those mm. values are not in sync with your financial values? Mm. You have to unlearn those values first. It's not all values that you pick up as a young person that are good for you as an adult. Mm, true. On that <laughs> note, <laughs> we have said what we have to say. <laughs> Before we go, we are now on Spotify podcast, mm. right? Yay. Yes. Yay. So follow us uh, and share. The, please, you will be sharing link. Don't be watching this show alone. <laughs> because of us, go and download Spotify. Download all the social media apps and share the links to people that you think this information will be helpful to them. And remember to also drop your comments, like, share, and invite families and friends to watch and engage with our social media um, posts. Now, if you missed our very important quote for today, here it is again. The handling of finances is one of the major emotional battlegrounds of any marriage. Lack of finances is seldom the issue. The root problem seems to be an unrealistic and immature view of money. I think this guy really summed it nicely. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Ciao.